Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Welcome back for another fun Tumblr tutorial with me. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a regular, you know how much I appreciate you coming back. You guys, I have to admit, it is currently Saturday at like 7 p.m. and the tutorial for this Tumblr drops Sunday morning, which is tomorrow, which is actually today that you're watching it. So confusing, but, um, I have been a little bit overwhelmed with a new project that my husband and I have taken on. Um, if you follow my channel, you will know about the farm that we recently bought. So that has consumed me this week. And I have to tell you, this tumbler is not 100% complete. It still lacks bright tone layers, but doesn't matter because you'll still get the full gist of this. Um, this tumbler is a beautiful peacock tumbler made with just such beautiful colors and it was really a lot of fun and so I just want to you know show you how I did this so um, while you're here I would love it if you liked subscribed and commented and um, ring the notification bell so that you get future notifications about my tumblr tutorials and if you're interested in following our flipping the farm videos and um, yeah make sure you ring that notification bell but anyways just stay tuned follow along and I'll show you how to create this beautiful peacock tumbler so I found this really fun vinyl company on Etsy. It's called Donkey Craft Vinyl. They have so many fun, unique patterns. So I swiped up a bunch and this peacock one was just absolutely beautiful. I couldn't resist. It's the very first one I chose to start doing stuff with. Um, I just trimmed it down to size and I like to trim mine before I actually apply it to my tumbler. I know a lot of people do it just opposite. They apply it to their tumbler, then they trim it down to size, um, you know, cutting the rim and the bottom and the line, the seam, whatever. But um, this is how I've found that I do it and it works best for me. I remove the backing and then I use window cleaner, Windex, and spray some on the tumbler and the vinyl. And it just makes application so much easier. You can see that you can easily peel it back and remove it and then reapply it. So that's just super simple for me. Next, I am using Crystallax Blue Gloss Polyurethane. I'm giving the stainless steel bottom there a nice coat. Um, I did it fairly heavy, kept it you know, pretty wet because now then I'm using Glitter Heart Co's Deep Blue Sea and sprinkling it right over the top of that blue gloss. Unfortunately, I did not get great coverage, so I will have to add another coat. Once that had been dry for four hours, I grabbed my glitter glue, which is also from the Crystal Light Company, and I put a nice generous layer of glitter glue on the tumbler, just on that glittered area for now. And then I grabbed Neptune, which is also from Glitter Heart Co. This is a more of a chunkier blue mix, and I just gently sprinkled some on there. I just wanted to have a little bit of chunkiness on there, um, not super heavy, as you can see. And then I switched back to the deep blue sea and completely covered the whole thing, the glittery area <laughs> with it and um, got really great coverage this way. I allowed that to dry for the full two hours because of the glitter glue and then I dusted all the excess glitter off and then here I'm just sealing everything back up with the glitter glue again. Um, this is so helpful when it comes to your bright tone layers later on. It just helps you get smoother layers faster. Okay, now then I decided to go ahead and do this right here and now. I'm going a little bit above the um, glitter glittery area up onto the vinyl and then I'm using this peacock feathers glitter it's a chunky mix from glitter heart coat as well and I am just gently sprinkling that right there on my seam where my vinyl meets my glitter I don't want this too heavy but I want it to be just enough to cover up that seam and some of it may you know kind of get onto the glittery part or the vinyl part a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I don't want it to be like a harsh line, just kind of a soft line that separates the two or brings them together. 
Next, I just kind of used my finger, as you see there, and just patted that down to help prevent, you know, so much sanding later on. Um, just a gentle pat seems to do the trick. After that had been dry for two hours, I then covered all of the glitter again with glitter glue, sealing it all up really, really well. Right here, I'm just showing you the blue gloss and the glitters that I used for this tumbler. Once all my glitter glue was fully dry, I was then able to move on to my bright tone layers. I forgot to record the application of the first layer, but it's so beautiful. Okay, while layers of bright tone are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my vinyl. This is Tech Wrap Vinyl. It's a textured gold vinyl. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it in the description below. Here's what I cut out. Why blend in when you were born to stand out? And then this pretty kind of a silhouette of a peacock. At this point, I had applied about four layers of Bright Tone and it was all nice and dry and I decided to go ahead and apply my vinyl, um, just using my transfer tape there to stick the gold peacock on. I think that is so pretty. I did get it a little bit high and I was able to easily remove it and lower it a bit. And then the phrase, the why blend in when you were born to stand out, I just wanted that centered up around that bottom blue glittery layer. I think this really pops against that blue. Um, again, the Tech Wrap vinyl, I will list it in the description below, link it for you. It's from Amazon. It cut so well, better than any foilish type vinyl that I've used so far. I think this looks so beautiful. So I'm just gonna move on with my bright tone layers. This will be the first layer since applying my foil. Um, you remember, you wanna keep your layers thin and definitely allow four hours of dry time between each layer. I ended up doing four layers and then a level sand, but you need to base that on if you're able to still fill your vinyl or not, because you do not want to sand into this textured vinyl. That would totally ruin it. So you just kind of have to use your own judgment. It could take six layers of bright tone before you can do a level sand. You'll just want to keep on keeping on with your bright tone layers every four hours until you have a really beautiful shine. I mentioned this in the beginning of the tutorial. This tumbler is not yet complete. I've been just completely consumed by the flipping of the farm project. So um, I really love this. I think the colors are all so beautiful. That vinyl was just screaming at me. So I had to go for it. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, let me hear from you. I love to interact with you all. I do my very best to answer any and every question that you throw at me. If I don't know the answers, I will certainly find it for you. So anyways, I really and truly appreciate you watching and I hope that you have an amazing, blessed day.